what's up everybody welcome to my channel uh, today we're going to be building this inspired by this let's get to it I started the build out by cutting the floor of the bassinet we purchased the mattress ahead of time so I knew to make it 15 inches by 30 inches next I began cutting the sides I want the ends to be close to a square so I made the sides of each end 13 inches tall to make room for the 2x4 and 2x3 on the top and bottom. After cutting all four pieces of the ends I created a decorative notch. I started out doing it the hard way and then eventually switched to a jigsaw. The jigsaw made finishing the notch cutouts much easier. I assembled the ends so I could take a moment to visualize my progress. Next, I cut out the planks that made the wall of each of the ends. This gives it that craftsman-like look. Now I thought I was making them taller than the sides, but it turns out I made the sides too tall. So I took the sides back to the saw and cut them a bit shorter. A quick test fit and I am happy with the results. Next, I started to assemble the ends. I pre-drilled the pocket screws to make it a little easier to put together without the use of a clamp or a biscuit or a dowel system. I should really invest in a Craig jig someday. Next I screwed on the planks with finished screws. The finishing screws have a smaller head which makes it easier to be filled in with wood putty later. I did the same thing on the other side. The next step is to cut the side rails. After attempting to test fit the side rails, I discovered that the corners of the planks need to be notched out. Then, after using the disc attachment for the first side, I discovered a better one and made quick work of the second side. Next, I took the measurements to cut the holes for the dowels. Now, according to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, the gap between the slats cannot exceed 2 and 3 eighths of an inch, so I made mine 2 and a quarter inch. Then I cut all the dowels to the height I needed. I was worried about this part because I do not have a drill press. However, with the wood being so soft, I was able to jam the slats in and the sides came out relatively straight. Next, I sanded all the parts before final assembly. Since the 2x lumber was so rough, I used a Dremel with a sanding drum to smooth out the edges. I then assembled the top of the bassinet. After assembly, I measured for a ledge to support the weight of the mattress and the baby. Finally, I cut the legs and the rocker feet out and put it all together. Well guys, I finished, I finished up the build today and I'm covered in sawdust so I'm going to go get cleaned up but I think it turned out pretty well. It turned out better than I expected. Uh, the only thing I would do differently if I was going to do something differently it would be to make the bottom a little bit shorter so it's a little lower but when you rock it it seems a teeny bit top heavy so that would be the only thing I change it looks pretty good well other than having a few better pieces of equipment <coughs> so I look forward to putting it to use going to do some more sanding out on it and then I'll I'll pretty much be set. I'm gonna actually leave this one unfinished for now. And I might come back and finish it later. So, thanks for watching, guys.